Hey everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and there was a big update in beta, so we're gonna go through it nice and slowly and see what has just been released. To start off, we have the brand new Days of Nature cape and accessory in the game, as well as some prices for them. Of course, these prices may not be final, but it's a good starting point. So let's start off by opening the shop and seeing what there is. We have the Ocean Necklace for $1.99 to start. Special offer to celebrate this time of the year, Ocean Necklace. We pledge to donate half of the proceeds from this item to charities cleaning the ocean of plastic. Nice! And then we've also got the cape, which is $14.99. Oh! Ooh! Oh, the cape is so nice. It looks like it's like glowing almost. So pretty! Okay, uh, let's get into a more suitable outfit. The accessory is so cute. It's a lot more subtle than I thought it'd be. We have the ocean cape. Oop. It looks super, super off-putting with the pot hat for some reason. We'll take that off. And just put on some normal hair. And I'm just gonna change my mask too, for fun. So at the moment, it seems like there isn't an Earth Day cape coming back. I mean, this is just the beta, so we won't know for sure. But they also didn't announce it in their Days of Nature post, and I feel like they'd usually announce it there. Here's a clip of what it looks like on my live account. It's so green, it's very cute. I hope there's a way for them to bring it back, but I do, in a way, understand if they can't. Next up, we're gonna take a look at the brand new two-tier capes coming. We have the pink, black, and white capes. So these are the veteran capes, as they're sometimes called, with the little stripe on the bottom. So up first is the white cape. I can't access my own main account on beta right now, so I'm relying on some of the Discord members to send me screenshots, so I appreciate it so much. This is the white cape. The very, very white bottom is really, really nice. I love how bright it is. And this cape will cost 150 hearts. Yeah, you heard that right. It's extremely expensive. Um, it's something you should just be saving for after you've unlocked everything else, which I have for the past over a year now, so it's nice to finally be able to spend my hearts on something. And here we go, costing another whopping 150 hearts is the black tier two cape. It's got that silver lining on the bottom. Apparently, it depends where you are in the world though. In darker spots, it looks a little more bronze or gray, but it does look quite bright silver in the daylight. And finally, we have the beloved tier two pink cape. It's so rosy looking. It's got a really nice dark pink to it and a very light pink on the bottom. This one will be 120 hearts. So again, it's quite expensive. And coming up, we have some minor changes to the assembly props. Some of them aren't always in their backpack form, some will just be on your back. So as you can see, some of them have a cute little form on your back, so you can see what you're carrying, but some of them still have that backpack icon. Which I do hope they keep the backpack for at least one of the items, because I do love carrying it. I feel like a little scout in the wilderness. And there is a brand new spell in the spell shop. It is so, so cute. It doesn't really seem to have a major purpose at the moment, but let's take a look. So it looks like it's going to cost two candles to purchase, and you get five of them. It's a pinwheel spell. Now, I thought maybe we would just carry it around and it would uh, fly in the wind as you run, but it seems like you put it on the ground. Right there and just gently moves with the wind. There's no real sound for it yet and no real purpose for it, but I mean, come on, it's a little pinwheel. And finally, there are a bunch of new daily quests added, some for the new Earth Day update, and some involving our scavenger friends. So our first one is to complete that hammock scavenger hunt again. Our second one is to meditate by the valley's ice rink, which is a very old meditation quest. 
Another is to relive the bubble spirit, and another is to visit the polluted geyser in the Sanctuary Islands. So we're gonna go do that one first. So apparently this quest is supposed to be one where we can get light collection, similar to the tree for Days of Bloom. It's a social collection experience. But all I got was the quest completion here. So not much over here at the moment. The geyser is definitely polluted water though. As you sit in it, your light will be leached out of you. So be careful standing in it. The area around here is slightly changed. There's like a crashed boat. Maybe it's like oil tanks fell. Disgusting. Our poor sanctuary islands. So we have these rock formations around the sides of it too, but they don't do anything. The only thing this area does is it completes that quest for now. And if there's any changes, I'll be sure to let you guys know. Now I didn't want to go relive that bubble spirit or do the scavenger hunt again because that would just take too much time and I mean you guys have already seen that it's in the live game now. But we do have this meditation spot back here. It has been here before but it was a very long time ago. But now it has a new meditation message. Share a note of gratitude for the oceans. Alright, so that is pretty much it for today's beta update at the moment. Just please be patient because it's a little buggy right now. There may be some stuff I missed and I will get back to it when the beta is a little more stable. Thanks so much for watching you guys and I hope you found this helpful. Bye bye!